Success at the Indianapolis 500 is achieved through speed. Each race team must work together to make their car faster than the others. And while the cars may look the same, there are many different adjustments available to the teams to squeeze every last bit of speed out of their cars. This process of making adjustments is called testing. Testing is a slow, methodical process that involves making slight adjustments and recording their effects against past performance. It's important to remember that even small adjustments affect speed and that a speed difference as large as one half mile per hour is only one tenth of a second per lap around the two and a half mile speedway. That's quicker than the blink of an eye. For every adjustment made to a race car, there is a measurable reaction with respect to speed. However, not every adjustment is successful. You are equally likely to make the car go slower as you are to make it faster. That's why it's important to keep detailed notes as to what the adjustments are and how those adjustments influence performance. If that isn't complicated enough, consider this. A car reacts differently according to weather. Race teams must take into account all the possible weather conditions that can be present in Indianapolis during the month of May. And while the cars do not run in the rain, the sun, clouds, wind, heat, and cold all have an effect on a car's performance. In order to be successful, each team has to determine what is the best setup for their car with regard to that day's weather. Other important factors include fuel and tires. A car reacts differently when it's full of fuel than it does when it's almost empty. And new tires are different than worn tires. A car that runs great with a full load of fuel and new tires may not be very good with less fuel and old tires. A successful team needs to balance their car to maximize speed over the course of a tank of fuel and a set of tires. Safety innovation has been a byproduct of testing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway since the very beginning. It's believed that the very first rear view mirror ever used on an automobile was on the Marmon Wasp, driven by Ray Haroon when he won the first 500 in 1911. In 1935, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway became the first racetrack to install a warning light system and the first to make the use of helmets mandatory for drivers. Fire-resistant uniforms were required to be worn by all drivers in 1959. The Safer Barrier, short for Steel and Foam Energy Reduction Barrier, is the latest safety innovation developed by the Speedway. The Safer Barrier was installed in all four turns in 2002 and acts as a buffer to cushion the cars when they impact the outside walls. These are just a few of the safety innovations that are part of the history that is the Indianapolis 500.